Did you all see a number of guys um, left out as well, um, trying to vote on the ground? What's the reason behind that? Uh, it's really just player management. I think um, there, are, there are guys who uh, have had um, probably continuous niggly injuries that are, be, that are going to be given a, a, a good amount of time in the pre-season to recover from those. Obviously, Sean, he's come back and he's, he's played very few minutes. And it was a discussion I had with both players, both those two players, for example, and there's, there's, a, there's a number of others as well, guys uh, like Ken Healy, Sean Cronin, um, uh, Dan Tui, um, yeah, there's, there's, there's a bunch of guys who, who, who we believe they would be better served by getting, getting a window uh, to fully recover. They also, a number of them have accumulated a, a number of very brief pre-seasons by the time they go away on, uh, on June tours or Lions tours and, and the like. Uh, it's really that um, we believe to only take two scrum halves would have been very, very difficult. And so uh, we've gone for three scrum halves. To go with six halves would have been uh, a, a real tightening of numbers. And I think the, the thing for Ian is that he hasn't had a lot of game time lately. Uh, I've had a really good discussion with him. He's going to come in and train with us, but uh, he'll go on the emerging tour. Um, and uh, that will give him and, and, and the likes of guys like Ian Keatley, who's played really well as well, to, um, to get some game time over there. And, and uh, we will still be keeping a close eye on that group as well. Paul, oh, would you strange to go on to more this Yeah. Um, you know, it's the start of, uh, it's the start of, I was a different era without him around the dressing room. Um, on the pitch, his influence. Um, his confidence around the place, but I suppose we've known it's it's been coming for a while, and I think a lot of uh, players have been stepping up in that leadership role off the pitch and on the pitch in the last few years, and particularly the last few months. And um, it's uh, it's obviously disappointing he's moved on, but it's it's part of the cycle. We've seen the likes of Raj. Um, and various players moving on in recent years as well, and it's 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 part of the cycle, and you just have to get on with it. What do you think of the emerging team that are really bringing into the uh, the depths of the country's playing games? Yeah, it's great. Um, I've never toured there myself. Um, it's a country I've never been to either, so I'm really looking forward to that. Uh, you know, it's, I suppose it's a fairly short tour. We're only there for two weeks, but um, it's going to be a really tough challenge for us. Um, they seem to be playing a lot of rugby at the moment, a lot more rugby than they, than they had been in the past um, with the various tournaments they've been involved in since March. Um, so they'll be a well-prepared side and it'll be a very tough physical tour. Joe, what sort of consideration has been to the pro final being the right before departure? Yeah, I've crossed my fingers, really. Um, you know, there's not a lot we can do about that. There are, there are 10 Leinster players coming on tour and, and we're just going to have to hope that they are uh, fully fit at the end of that Pro 12 final. Some of, um, some of what we can do about that is, is having players on standby and uh, we've identified some players that we'll confirm at the end of camp uh, that are on standby. Some of them are obviously in with us training, uh, guys like uh, Ian Madigan. Who, uh, who would step in if, if there was an injury, uh, potentially even um, a, an injury uh, in the back three. Um, you know, there's, there's Craig Gilroy, who's, who's very much a player who's starting to find his form and his footwork again, and he's another guy who, who, who wasn't far away from two. Uh, guys like, like Tommy O'Donnell, who's, who's kind of slipped off the radar a little bit and, and has um, probably missed his you know, in, the, in selection in the, in the last few weeks in the big games for Munster, we still think he's a, he's a very good player. And um, so those, those sorts of guys are still very much in our thinking. Um, even guys like Mike McCarthy, who, who picked up a bit of an injury and wasn't available to play last week, um, you know, if, he, if he safely uh, kind of gets his way through the, the, the game, it just adds a little bit of depth in who we can go to. Um, in various positions. Johnny Sorry, last question there. Johnny is he over now? Is he? Yeah, he's yeah. in. He's in, and he's got a spring in his step, and uh, he's telling me he feels really fresh and ready to go. So, um, I've no doubt 
that uh, you know he'll benefit from the next two weeks uh, preparation and um, you know that that uh, you know that, that that's a bonus for us.